My name is Mary Mae Strickland and this is an instructional video on how to use the full auto, portrait, and sport modes on a Canon camera. This camera is a Canon 60D. While most Canon cameras have these particular modes, some do not. I'm not going through all the modes, I'm just going through three on the dial of the camera. I'm just teaching you how to use these three basic ones. They can really help you when first starting out in photography. To begin taking pictures, we must first know what the buttons are on the camera and how to use them. The buttons that are labeled here are the on-off switch, the erase button, the playback button, the quick control dial, and the viewfinder. The on-off switch is where you turn the camera on and off, of course, and the erase button is your delete button when you want to delete a picture. The playback button is what you press when you want to see the picture again or you want to see what pictures you have taken in the past. The quick control dial is what you use to go back and forth to different pictures and the viewfinder is what you look in to take the actual picture. In this picture, the mode dial, the lens, the shutter button, and the flash are all labeled from the top view of the camera. The mode dial is where you find all of your modes and you rotate the dial to be able to use the different ones. The lens is a part of the camera and the shutter button is what you press to take the actual picture. And you have to hold it down so it will focus and then actually take the picture. The flash is on top of the camera and the flash will come up when the camera thinks it needs it when it is on automatic or it can be also put on manually. The first mode I will explain is the full auto mode. This is a shooting or exposure mode found on most cameras. In this mode, the camera decides all of the settings for you and all you have to do is point the camera at your object and take the picture. Automatic exposure is when the camera chooses the optimum shutter speed, aperture, ISO, and flash settings for your shot. If you are just starting out in photography and do not understand things such as aperture or shutter speed, then this is the mode you will want to start out with. In taking pictures, you want to make sure that you have the neck strap around your neck so you don't drop the camera. So the first thing that you want to do, and we're going to do the full auto mode first, um, you want to turn the camera on right here, and make sure the full auto mode is on. So we want to press this button on the dial, and go to the full auto, like this. I'm going to be taking a picture of some cows in my backyard. So now that we have our camera set up, and our object that we want to take a picture of, all you do is point your camera at the object, look into the viewfinder with one eye, you can um, twist the lens to the left to zoom in on your object, and then remember to hold down the shutter button to focus and then press it all the way down to take the picture. So I'm going to look through the viewfinder, zoom in to get the cow I want, hold down the shutter button and then click the Portrait mode will think that there is a subject in the foreground of the frame and choose a shallow depth of field to keep the human subject in focus but the background blurred. This works better in well-lit places. You will need a person to practice taking a portrait of. To begin taking pictures in the next mode, we want to go to the portrait mode. So you want to press the button right here and find the portrait mode, which is the lady. So to take picture in portrait mode, you need a person. So we have our person over here. We're gonna take a portrait of her. So we have it on portrait mode and you're gonna to wanna to look in the viewfinder and get a good background and zoom to, to their face. Hold down the shutter button and then click it all the way to take the portrait. If you want to take a picture of something such as your son playing football or your dog running, choose sports mode. 
When you photograph in this mode, the camera chooses a shutter speed that freezes the action. This mode works well for most action shots. To practice this shot, get someone to jump in the air for you or run around. To begin taking pictures in the next mode, we want to go to the sport mode. So press the dial button again and find the sport mode, which is the man running. Now we have our camera in sport mode and we need to get our person to do some action. So she is going to do some action for us and what you're going to want to do is um, hold down the shutter button and it will take multiple pictures at a time. So get your lens where you want it, zoom in on what you want, then hold down the shutter button for as long as the action goes on and it will take a bunch of pictures and freeze the action. So. Here we go, you're gonna zoom in. To preview the pictures that you just took, you want to press the button right here. And then you can use the dial to go see all of the pictures that you just took.